forum is a key milestone of the GMS in Africa pop forum. <coughs> Last time we met, it was in Abidjan, and unfortunately, due to COVID-19 constraints, we were not able to all be there. So I'm more than happy to be here with you this week. GMS in Africa, you know it stands for the Global Monitoring for Environment and Security in Africa. This joint program of the African Union Commission and the European Commission provides African countries with Earth observation data and information. It is designed to support the sustainable man management of natural resources, to support informed decision-making processes, and to support the development of a space ecosystem. The forum is a platform for engagement. During the next days, the fruitful discussion and the different panels are meant to showcase the key features of our cooperation. Indeed, GMS and Africa is a unique partnership between Africa and Europe in the field of Earth observation. Through it, we picture our cooperation. Now, let's focus on the significant results achieved since the last time the GMS and Africa community met. Among all the different results, that we have already had a, a first insight, I have chosen three significant ones to mark out the path that we are building all together. These three significant results are the launch of the second phase of GMS in Africa, the inauguration of the EU-EU Space Dialogue, and the preparation of a new program, Africa-EU Space Partnership. So the first one. The launch of the second phase of GMS in Africa in early 2022 confirmed the needs and mutual interests in the Africa-EU Observation Partnership. We want to continue this long-standing and fruitful collaboration that began 20 years ago in the field of meteorology, climatology and environment with Copernicus, while adapting it to new African expectations. For today and tomorrow, our focus is to reinforce the Earth Observation Innovation Ecosystem, engaging the many institutional players and of the society, the private sector, and the academia. We are really proud to work hand in hand with the African Union Commission on this program and to continue supporting it. The second result that I would like to emphasize is the first EU-EU space dialogue that, that, took, that took place in Dakar in October. It gathered high-level policy actors of the space partnerships, not only on Earth observation, but also on satellite navigation and satellite communication. This was the first ever EU-EU space dialogue. It marks a new era in our collaboration in space. We want co-construction, win-win, and sustainable partnerships. And GMS in Africa paved the way to it. The third significant result a new space program. We are preparing this jointly with the African Union Commission and the European partners, such as the European Space Agency and UMEDSAT. The program will contribute to enhance institutional and innovation space cooperation work framework. It will also continue to improve capacity to produce and deliver space-based services in the green transition. And finally, it will strengthen Africa's space private sector ecosystem and industrial cooperation. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, these actions at policy and operational levels allow us together to overcome global challenges faced by our two continents. Two of them, the twin green and digital transition of our societies, are considered top political priorities by the European Commission under the leadership of President von der Leyen. The ambition of the EU in both of these areas are clear. In addition, promoting the social transition to make them sustainable, inclusive and equitable is also key. The, the Green Transition, the European Union Green Deal, is an ambition agenda to turn Europe into a modern, resource-efficient and competitive economy with net zero emissions of greenhouse gases by 2050. The fight against climate change and the acceleration of the green transition is not only a shared concern 
but also a shared commitment. With the COP28, starting this week, the topics discussed here in this forum are even more relevant and important. We are all working towards a more sustainable future and we know that this community can be instrumental. Secondly, the digital policy. The European Union wants to ensure a human-centric approach to digitalization, accelerate the digital transition, fight against the global digital divide and strengthen access to secure digital connections. The EU-EU Innovation Agenda adopted uh, last July, largely includes the same priorities. Green transition, public health, capacities for science, innovation and technology. Over the last 20 years of collaboration between the European Union and the Af African Union in space also enabled us to achieve these objectives together and based on a mutual partnership. And we need to do more. To develop all these programs and their applications, the EU relies on the Global Gateway Africa Europe Initiative. This strategy includes investments in digital technology, education and research among the main priorities. This strategy is also a way for the European Union to develop a real partnerships with, with the entire African continent, beneficial for all the stakeholders involved. This means creating better opportunities for African and European space ecosystems promoting synergies within the continent itself. For us, it's key that our two continents work together to achieve greater, greater digital sovereignty and meet ambitious climate goals. This is why we consider this forum so important.